What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to be diving into the Maxima and we're going to be trying to get rid of this manifold. This is the factory Maxima manifold. I'm pretty sure it has a crack there and a crack there. That's why I uh, put some wrap on it. But it also leaks right here. So that's a problem. But the biggest problem with this is since it was the factory Maxima manifold, this runner comes over and isn't merged with this one that goes over there. Instead, they go down this pipe where it's a two-piece pipe and then it's capped at the bottom right here. So the flow has to come down through this and then basically come to a flat spot and then come back up this side to go into there for the turbo to go. So basically it's horrible, horrible design. This side's definitely got a lot more back pressure on this cylinder head than that side. I know that can't be good, you know, just everything says that it shouldn't be. So we're going to be fixing that. And uh, I got another manifold to put on. And hopefully it won't put this pipe up too far because I'm using a S12 manifold flipped upside down. So I'll show you that when we get to there, but just let you know what we're doing and uh, we'll basically just be getting this stuff taken off. I'm pretty sure I have to take off the AC because there's of course a bolt literally right behind it. And by the looks of it, I'm gonna be crossing my fingers that none of these snap off because they are in not great condition, especially that one. Holy shit, that one looks so bad. Oh, that's going to be fun. All right, let's get to it. All right, I got the uh, manifold off. Took a little longer than I wanted it to. Had to uh, remove the uh, AC unit and the alternator. First the alternator to get to the bottom of the AC unit. It bolts up right here to the bottom of it. And then it's got the two bolts up here. And then I also had to disconnect the oil pickup and swivel it over so that way the manifold could get out. But as you can see, it's got some cracks basically probably all the way around right there and right there. Terrible manifold. Just a piece of shit. But it's all off. So I'm going to grab the other manifold probably tomorrow since we're losing daylight pretty fast. Probably get all this rounded up for today. And we'll uh, come back at it tomorrow with that other manifold on there. Hopefully we don't have to cut this pipe at all. Because it doesn't really have any flex to it. So I hope I don't have to cut that and angle it up. But we'll see where we get to. But uh, it's going to do it for today. Yeah. Looks good. Alright. We'll get back at it tomorrow. All right, got my pipe made up. It's not pretty, but it's gonna work just fine. So, there's the 200 manifold flipped upside down, comes over, had to make it go around this thing, which was kind of a bitch, but, eh, it'll work. It'll work a lot better than what it did. Now I just need to get the uh, AC and the alternator back up in there and the radiator put back in here. And uh, then it's all done. Then we'll go take it for a ride and see if it's uh, any better. So get this all put in and get back to it. All right, radiator's back in. Everything's plumbed back together. Routed and whatnot. So let's see if she uh, fires up. Now she doesn't have a uh, O2 sensor hooked up because they were in the factory manifold that's not there anymore. Oh, where's the keys at? There we go. Alright. Nice. Fired right up. Deal. 
exhaust sounds a lot better now. Sweet deal. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode. Next, we're going to uh, try to do the rear suspension. We're going to put in that airbag system that I got. But uh, that's going to do it for now. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.